Hey guys, iMovie How To here, and today I'll be showing you the iMovie 2.2 update for iOS 9. So the, one of the first things you'll notice when you go to an existing project, there's now this new redesigned screen where you can preview your project by pressing the play button, edit your project by pressing the edit button, and preview, share, and delete your project by pressing on the bottom toolbar buttons towards the bottom of the screen. So let's exit out of this view, and we can make a new project. So let's tap in the plus square here, select movie. Then I'll select the simple theme. I'll press create. So one of the first new changes in this version is that you can hide and show the media browser by tapping on this icon in the upper right hand corner like this. So I can import a new video clip by going to all and tapping on the down arrow to import the actual video. So when you tap on a clip to open the options panel, the separate tabs now, instead of having just icons, have text labels under them instead. So the features in these tabs are largely unchanged, but certain things, for example, in the text tab, instead of just being icons, are now full featured text labels, like the options location off and sound effects off. So when you're adding a photo, you now have an option to enable and disable the Ken Burns effect, which is really useful because you no longer have to manually align the zoom levels or zoom all the way out to achieve this effect. There's now just a convenient switch, which you can enable and disable. So there's other things in this update that I can't really show you, like there's now support for 60 FPS exports. And if you have one of the newly released iPhone 6S phones or the upcoming iPad Pro, you can actually now edit in 4K resolution as well. Also, for the new iPhone 6S's, 3D touch support is now enabled. So when you press hard on the iMovie icon on the home screen, you have quick shortcut options, such as creating a new project. So one of the bigger features in this update is the addition of a full set of keyboard shortcuts. In order to use this feature, you will need to connect a Bluetooth keyboard to your iOS device. Keyboard shortcuts work both for iPads and iPhones. So to show a list of all of the available shortcuts, press on the command or otherwise known as the Apple key on your keyboard for a couple of seconds and a window that shows all the various shortcuts will appear. So these shortcuts can help you do many things. So I can just give you an example of workflow. So what I can do, I can well, frame by frame by pressing the left arrow keys and right arrow keys. I can go clip by clip by pressing the up arrows and down arrows per clip. I can press shift arrow. I can quickly scrub through many frames. Go shift left or right arrow. Let's say I want to cut this clip in half, split it. I can press the C key on my keyboard. And then I can do command B and there it splits it. And get, again, I'm doing this without any touchscreen input. So this basically makes it almost like a desktop version of iMovie by adding these keyboard shortcuts. It's pretty awesome actually. So I can scrub over. Let's say I want to now go over here and cut this section out. I can press on C. Now I can do Command B and then press the delete key. And there we go, I just I just edited this clip like this. So that's basically all the things you can do with the new keyboard shortcuts feature in iMovie. So the last feature in this update is in the iMovie extension. The extension, just to recap, can be accessed by going to a video clip in the Photos app and then tapping on, on the edit button. When you're at this screen here, what you have to do is tap on this icon with the three dots and in the list that appears, just tap iMovie. So the new thing that's actually in this extension with the new 2x2 update is that there's a redesigned music selection screen where I can find theme music and music from your iTunes library. So that's basically the 2.2 update for iOS 9. Thank you for watching this update video. If you want to see the video I made about the new update for the desktop version of iMovie, iMovie 10.1, or the video I made about how you can make credits for iMovie for iOS, click on the annotations above or click on the links in the description. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.